Hello and welcome, I'm Andy Beach and today we're going to be doing uh, some overview on Streamlabs OBS um, the tool I use to stream uh, to my Twitch page uh, as well as Mixer and YouTube usually so we're going to keep this nice and quick and simple so it's easy for you guys so we're going to start today with the basic just quick overview of the actual layout of OBS itself uh, so in OBS, you start off with obviously this page. But you'll most likely have no sources, no scenes, or anything like that in there. But this is how mine looks. Uh, so your main window is what you actually see, what your stream would show. Uh, so a bit like now, where you can see my screen and my camera and that. Um, so as as you can see, it just shows a image. I will go into that into another tutorial on how to all <clears throat> add all that into it. Uh, you've got underneath you got the mini feed, so that just simply tells you when you link to a, a Twitch account, a YouTube account, or whatever account you're linked to, it will come up with who's subscribed, who's followed, and any other um, any other ev like events that have happened. So it could be like hosted donations and stuff like that will show up there next we've got your um your themes so you got your different themes in this section here so you can uh download them again we'll do that in another tutorial and then uh underneath that you've got your different uh as say the different scenes and transactions uh follow next to that you've got your sources so again we'll do that in another tutorial <coughs> so you got your like your display capture donation goal alerts uh, and anything else you want to add to it will go in this box here next to that you've got your mixer so that would be anything from your uh, it's pretty much all your audio so all your capture card your webcam audio your microphone desktop all your alerts or anything that's audio related will go in here on the left hand side we've got a couple of things that I haven't used before but we will try and go into them when we come to it. Uh, so you get your editor, so this page you're on now. Uh, you got your themes, which like I say we'll go into another time. Uh, you got Cloudbot, again I don't know what that is so I'll have to look into it. You got App Store, so you can download apps. At the bottom you got your dashboard, uh, so when you press that it brings up your Streamlabs dashboard. Uh, you got your layout editor. Again, that's a new thing, so I'll have a look at that. Um, you've got uh, your studio mode. Again, we'll go into that. That's actually quite a helpful tool I've only just started using myself recently and just allows people not to be able to see what you're doing. Uh, and then you can transition it across. Uh, get help, and that's like probably the Discord channel and stuff. Uh, and of course, you can log out. And then, of course, you got your settings which again we'll go into in a later video so that's basically the overview oh sorry uh, and then at the bottom we've got uh, just quickly you got your stats the so live stats uh, so I like to include the CPU frame rate drop right dropped frames and then obviously usually you would do your bandwidth as well if you got room um, and then of course you got your test the widgets you can test whatever widgets come up like that uh, you record uh, start replay buffer and then obviously your main button which is go live button so that's the overview don't forget to go and check out my twitch channel twitch.tv forward slash Andy Beach put the link in the description of my youtube channel go and check it out go and follow me I will do some more videos very soon Thank you for watching and goodbye.